guys, welcome to the channel. It's Scarlett here, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you some closet hacks and how to organize your closet. I'm going to be showing you some folding techniques and um, helping you on knowing what to get rid of. So I hope you guys like it. Let's jump right into the video. So first off, I am going to start by showing you my, how I keep and organize my clothes and how I in the closet. So let's go. So I have this hanging thing right here, and I hang it in my closet. And so on the top layer, I have nothing in it right now, but that is where I keep. A, some tank tops and scrap um, undershirts. Down here is where I keep my bathing suits, and then right here I keep my underwear and bra that I wear for class. Um, and then up here, the way I organize my clothes is I organize them by color. So I have it by the rainbow. So I go red and pink, um, green, blue, and then I don't have any purple things hanging up, so then I have white, gray, and black, and then I have all my costumes from dance and stuff and belts, so yeah, and then down here, I keep the, my shoes in my room that I don't wear usually, so I have my heels, and these are actually supposed to go on the wall, but I have nothing to put in them, so I keep them down here, so I keep my fancy sandals, my yard shoes, my heels, and my dance shoes in here that I do not often wear. So this is one way of organizing your closet. Oh, also, if you're wondering why the yellow is right here, it's because it's a camp shirt. I'm actually in Girl Scouts, and so I it's up there because I still need to wash it. So, some organizing techniques for the closet are, like I said, I have mine organized by the rainbow and the color, or you can organize it by category. So, you can have tank tops, shirts, crop tops, um dresses, pants, long sleeve shirts. So that is one way. I ha I used to have it like that and I decided to change it to color because I think it's it's pers it's personally easy more easier for me than categories. So it depends on how everything works for you. But the thing is you need to have you need to have categories in your closet, otherwise you're just going to throw it in there and then you're just going to be stressed in the morning or grab something you don't really want to wear. So choose a category and stick with it. Now I am going to show you some folding techniques. So I, first thing I'm going to show you is a shirt. So I know most people just fold them either like this or uh, how I used to do it like this and put it in there. Well, when that happens, you just stack it up and you can't really see it. So a popular way, a new trend that's been going around is filing, folding, which what you do, so for a shirt, you lay it down flat and so you're going to lay it down flat. And then, sorry, I had to move. But what you're going to do is you're going to lay the shirt flat on the front. And you're going to take the right side and fold it halfway to the middle of the shirt. Then you're going to take the other side and do the same thing. Next, you're going to take the bottom of the shirt, fold it about a third of the way. Then take the top and fold it over. Next, you're going to, so it's going to look like this. And so then after that, you're going, my preference, so it'll look like this on this one side and this on the other. 
So you're gonna fold the inside. If it shows the inside, then fold that part in like this. And then you put this in like this in your drawers. So now we're gonna do shorts. So some people don't like to fold their shorts in a filing style. Most people just fold them in half. So you can do that in however way you want, but to, or no, if you file them, what you do is you just you fold them in half and then you fold them over again and then a third time. And then you have them in, they're just a little bit longer and skinnier, and so that's how you have them. So last but not least, we have our pants. So these are actually pajama pants because I personally don't like to hold my leggings because they get wrink they get wrinkled in them like on the sides and I don't like that. And same with the feet. So what you want to do is you lay your pants out and you fold them in half and then you're going to fold them half the bottoms a third of the way up, or sorry, half the way up, and then they'll fold the top over to have it, and he applies this to the inner part of the bottom. Then you're going to fold over once, and then if you want, twice, depends on your preference, so this is what it looks like twice. So those are some flat So I will show you what my dress is. Okay, so this is my dresser. And I actually don't keep most of my clothes in my dresser. But so the top right here, these are all my shirts and my pajama shirts. And so I can see it and be like, oh, I want something that's really long, a long shirt. I know this is a long shirt and I feel like this is a long sleeve, so I know I want that. Or I know I want my short sleeve shirt, so I can just grab it and go. And then down here, I have my pajama pants. So I know that like these are my shorts, so I can just grab it and go. And I know these are my long pants, so I can just grab it and go if I want to. And then over here, down here, I have clothes that I don't really wear, but I don't want to get rid of. So they're not just sitting in my closet and I'm looking at them. So when I'm on a lazy day, I usually just grab something out of here. But I know like, oh, this is that and these, I know all these are, and then I have my pants right here, which these are the only two yoga pants that I fold because they have stains or holes in them, but I have them in case I have nothing else to wear. And then up here, I, all these shirts are like specific shirts for something. So this is a cheer shirt, this is a recital shirt that I got for recital, these are two volleyball shirts. That's a camp shirt, and then I have two workout shirts right there, and another camp shirt. So I have that in there because I like to keep those, I like to keep these clothes because one for sentimental value, but as well as sometimes I still wear them, but I just keep them in here and away. And then I'll keep my, the underwear and socks and stuff that I don't use in the Lastly, um, I'm going to be talking about what to you decide you should that I personally think you should decide to fold if you keep clothes in your closet and why you should keep clothes in your closet and what you should choose to do. Okay, so we're gonna start with what you should choose to get rid of. So I am really bad with getting rid of clothes because I always think, I, I just like having a lot of clothes, but sometimes we just need to get rid of the clothes you have. So one thing that, which sometimes this happens to me all the time, which really shouldn't, but even if it's something you love, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And you're most likely not going to grow back into it. Like, if you're trying to lose weight, then I can see your point. My mom also has this problem. 
and she keeps all these clothes, but it's there. But then when she has them later, it's not necessarily still her same style. So if it doesn't fit, then just donate it, throw it out, give it to a younger sibling. Don't try and like cut it or something to make it fit, just get rid of it. Another thing is if it has a hole, which as I, as I was saying, as well as stains, as I was saying, yes, I do have some. And personally, I do think it's good to have some backup clothes, which I don't know if everyone agrees with that, but I have clothes that I don't wear, but there have been times that I've had nothing else to wear and that, and it's on the weekend, so it's fine just running that around the house. And I think that's really useful, at least for me. And so if you don't have a lot of clothes and you're really lazy and washing your clothes like me, um, I think some backup clothes are fine. But if it's a stain and a holes, especially if the holes are like down the center of your line, of your pants or something like that, just throw it out or turn it into shorts or something because it doesn't look good and also stains don't look good either. So just get rid of it. Um, so one of the last things is matching your style. So if it doesn't match your style, as we get older and as we get more mature and we different things come up in our lives, our style changes. Like my style's completely changed. I used to wear only sweatshirts and that was it. So um if say um you used to wear really fancy stuff and now you like to wear athletic clothes, don't keep all of your fancy clothes because it's just going to sit there and you could, if you wanted to, you could make money off of it and sell it on like Poshmark or something like that. So get rid of it and don't just leave it sitting there because then you're not going to have enough room for the other clothes that you want. And it's just going to make you feel like, like you have too much clothes and you don't know what to buy. So just get rid of it. And last thing um, about getting rid of clothes is you don't want to have too much of one thing if, say, like, for example, you have a bunch of dresses, but you never go to events and wear them. Don't have that many. Like, get rid of some of them. You want to make a, you want to have room in your closet to grow, but you don't want it to be too small as well. So, um, the last thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is, um, what I think you should, why you should hang your clothes and what you should put in your purse. So, um, what you should hang, personally, I think you should not hang up your pajamas, which I don't. And the reason why is because if you hang up your pajamas, then it's going to take away some of the space for your clothes and it's going to be harder to get, like, see what clothes you have. Also, um, don't, I don't think you should fold. The reason why you should hang up your clothes is because if you set them in your drawers, they just wrinkle. And personally, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think wrinkly clothes look good at all. So just hang it up. It's not that hard. And also just make sure you don't leave the hangers on your room floor, obviously. And, um... So also, don't like, don't hang shirts up that you don't wear. So if you have shirts like I do that you don't wear but you still want to keep for some reason, I suggest putting it in your drawer. Um, so put it in your drawers so that you know, because you know you're not going to wear it a lot, put it in there, but don't ever put dresses in the drawers. I don't know why you would do that, but just don't. Um, but if it's something that you never wear, but you want to start wearing, I suggest to put it in your closet. And 
also one thing when you're categorizing your closet if you're gonna if there's like you want to start wearing more crop tops but you either like forget or you you just don't know and you can't find it in your closet put the crop tops in the area of the closet that you can see them so in my closet i i have half the closet door always open and so if i wanted to wear crop tops more often then i would put them in the side that i always keep open that way i can see and it's in the front and i can remember oh i have been really cute that i want to grab it um so yeah also just remember that it's your clothes wear what you want to wear and make sure it's in your what's in your closet is something you enjoy like don't have something in there that like your grandma got you when you don't like it then just put it away and take it out when she comes back but just remember only keep stuff with your style so i hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe and like